you guys welcome to my channel step into a new day life coaching and today it is a god dark gloomy day the 30 degree weather has really come to illinois where i am from and today i wanted to share with you a butternut squash recipe butternut squash soup recipe from jada de laurentis and i made this probably about a week ago but i wanted to go ahead and share it with you because it is something that i absolutely love and i know you are going to love it too For those of you that do not know me my name is brandis and i was a high school spanish teacher turned stay-at-home mom turned certified professional christian life coach and i love helping mothers feel good in their homes minds bodies and spirits and today is really going to be a focus on I think feeling good in your home, having a nice nutritious meal. Again, the soup I've been making for a very long time. And I'll definitely include in the link below the complete and full recipe so you can have that at your disposal as well. So with no further ado, let's rewind and go back about a week and see how I made this butternut squash soup. To start, you're going to need two butternut squash to where it will equal about two pounds or so. And I wanted to start off this video by really teaching you how to cut a butternut squash because that tends to be the hardest part and probably what maybe what might turn people off to even make a butternut squash soup. You can buy it pre-bought, but you obviously save money if you buy the actual butternut squash. So here I cut off the, the head and then I cut two pieces and made two pieces available because one has all the seeds. I'm cutting the other side of the butternut squash in order to expose the seeds. There are the seeds right there. And now it's really important to cut the rind off of the butternut squash. And so it's very simple. If you have a sharp knife, you're able to do that. And so I'm going to go to town and work my way across this first part of the butternut squash. After I'm done cutting that first part, it's time to get rid of those seeds inside the butternut squash. It's always really handy to have a bowl right next to you so you can take the butternut squash seeds and dispose of them. All done. And now it's time to go to town on this one and get that butternut squash skin off of the second part of the butternut squash. After you're done, you need to cut the butternut squash into cubed pieces. I have a Ziploc bag right next to me where I can put all these pieces. You can go ahead and cut your butternut squash days before you make the soup and just store it in your refrigerator for convenience. And now I'm going to do the second one. The second one is done. All of the pieces are together and it's time to get cooking. Just take your pot, put olive oil and two pads of butter at the bottom of your saucepan. I cut up one onion and I have baby carrots in the same amount, but it calls for like two large carrots. Put salt and pepper and saute that over medium heat. Then you're going to add your garlic cloves. I like mixing that and just smelling that garlic. It's time to add your butternut squash and also your chicken stock. It calls for six cups of chicken stock. I have four going in right here and another two cups. At this point, you're going to want to cover up your soup, bring it to a boil, and as you are bringing your soup to a boil, it's time to cut your sage. Oh, I absolutely love sage. If you've never smelt sage before, it is so great. I have one fourth cup. When it's to a boil, you're going to add in your sage. You're going to mix it in. And 
and allow that to boil for another 20 minutes. It should boil for 20 minutes until you can stick a fork through your butternut squash. At this point, I'm going to use a blender to take the butternut squash soup and get it into that creamy consistency. I normally use immersion blenders. Mine have broken over the years, so I'm sticking to a blender. <laughs> Here is the butternut squash soup already. It is done. I did the whole entire thing. This is lovely paired with grilled cheese sandwiches or ham and cheese sandwiches. And it is delightful for any time. Thank you so much year. for being here and just tuning in and listening to this recipe. I hope that you go and try it. It is just so fun and so elegant and you can, you know, serve it with so many different things. But it's definitely a family favorite and it is something that I make all of the time. So if you like these types of videos, please subscribe, share and like, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.